the red color of the Idiot Trains, the new high-speed train service that started operating in November 2022 and which we are going to talk about today, is beginning to make its presence felt in the high-speed lines of Spain. Hola, ¿qué tal? I am Tony Galvez from Road Trips Spain and Portugal, where we help you plan the perfect trip with practical information and insider tips. Idio is the fourth high-speed train service operating in Spain and we have just tested it so we can share the experience with you. In the video we are going to talk about what Idio is, about its routes, about the trains, about the fares, about the luggage rules and about what a trip on Idio is like. And stay until the end of the video for our assessment of the company and the answer to a very important question. Do we recommend it? Idio is a high-speed train brand of the consortium formed by Spanish airline Air Nostrum, infrastructure company Globalvia, and Italian state railway Trenitalia. Its first journey took place in November 2022. Idio takes advantage of the infrastructure of Adif, which is the Spanish public company responsible for high-speed trucks and stations, and will compete with Spain's own Renfe and France's Wigo services. Let's go to the map to see Erio routes. At the time of recording this video, Erio has two active routes. The first is its inaugural route, departing from Atocha Station in Madrid, with a stop in Zaragoza halfway and destination Sands Station in Barcelona. The second route departs from Chamartín Station in Madrid, with a stop in Cuenca and destination Valencia. In March 2023, two routes are planned, departing from Atocha Station in Madrid to Andalusia. The first with a stop in Córdoba and ending in Seville, and the second with a stop in Córdoba and Antequera and ending in Madrid. Malaga. Finally, in June 2023, Irio is due to travel from Chamartín Station in Madrid to Alicante, stopping in Albacete. On each of these routes, Irio has several trains per day. Irio uses the ETR 1000 model train, better known by the Italian name Freccia Rossa. It is manufactured by the Alstom Group and the trains are similar to those used by Trenitalia in their country. But unlike what happened with Wigo when it came to Spain, which brought its old trains already used in France, in Spain, Irio uses brand new trains manufactured specifically for use on the new routes. Visually, they are very beautiful trains that attract attention because they are painted red. Inside, in economy class, the carriages have two rows of seats with two seats on either side of the aisle. Half of the seats are in the direction of travel, the other half in the opposite direction. In the central part of the carriage, there are several sets of tables with four seats around. At the end of the carriage, there is a toilet. There are two types of toilets on the train. The small one, very similar to the one on airplanes, quite cramped, and there is an adapted toilet which is quite a bit larger. In the more premium classes, the seating arrangement is two on one side of the aisle and one on the other side. We will see more details about the interior of the trains in the video. Let's go with one of the most important parts of the video and an important clarification to start. Idio is not a low-cost company. I know that recently we have had a lot of news in the low price area, first with Wigo and then with Avlo. But Idio is not a low-cost company and has not come to compete with those services. Therefore, if price is the main factor for you, you should know that you probably won't find the best prices at EDU. You may find competitive prices on certain dates and at certain times compared to the low-cost companies, but EDU will be competing with Renfe's AFE. In that comparison, the prices that EDU is offering now at the beginning of its operations are very competitive with AFE. As you can see now on the screen, there are more expensive prices and cheaper prices as well, so it is essential to compare before you buy. For those who shop far in advance to get the best prices, Idio might not be a good option, but for the person who does not buy so far in advance, it is very likely that there will be quite interesting fares compared to the AVE. And now that we have four high-speed train services in Spain, it is essential that you do your searches on a website that shows you the results of all of them. You know that here on the channel, we highly recommend the train line, which sells tickets for Renfe, Avlo, Wigo, and now Irio trains. 
in a very easy to use page and with a very clear presentation of the results. We have already made a video explaining how to use the train line, don't miss it. Edio has four different rates, which we will explain in brief. The first structure could be simpler. So if you want to find out the details, check the link we will put in the description, which will take you to the Edio website. The cheapest fare is Initial allows changes of date and time but paying a fee, allows cancellation with conditions, includes baggage transport, you pay to choose your seat, you pay for food and does not allow the entry to the VIP lounges in Madrid or Barcelona. The second fare is called Singular, allows free change of date and time with conditions, allows cancellation with conditions, includes baggage transport, you pay to choose your seat, you pay for food, and does not allow entry to VIP lounges. The third rate is Singular Only You, which is actually split in two, the Singular Only You and the Plus Abierta. Allows free change of date and time with conditions, allows cancellation with conditions, includes baggage transport, seat selection is free on the Plus Abierta fare, you pay for food and allows entry to VIP lounges. Finally, the Infinita Fair also has a basic and a plus abierta version. Allows free change of date and time with conditions, allows cancellation with conditions, includes baggage transport, seat selection is free on the plus abierta fair, meals are included in the fair and allows entry to VIP lounges. The Singular Only You and Infinita Fairs allow you to travel in larger seats in carriages with a 2 plus 1 layout. With any fare, Edio allows a maximum of 3 pieces of luggage which can be 2 suitcases of maximum 85 per 55 per 35 centimeters each and 1 carry-on bag of maximum 36 per 27 per 15 centimeters each. If you are sightseeing in Spain and traveling with large suitcases, remember when comparing prices that AVE and EDIO include the transport of large suitcases even in the most basic fare, while the low-cost companies Alvo and Wigo do not and this transport must be paid for separately. We are not going to tell you about our experience on our first trip with EDIO. Our first trip was from Barcelona to Zaragoza and we bought our tickets on the train line. We didn't pay to choose a seat and the system gave us two seats next to each other. The first thing we did was to go to the EDIO office at Sun Station to solve a problem with the EDIO app. The company has offices in all the stations where it stops. We then looked on the screens for information about our train, in particular the platform from which it was to depart. We went through the security check between the open part of the station and the part reserved for those who are going to travel. Once again, we remind you, don't arrive at the last moment at the station. We always see people missing the train. Tickets are checked before you go down to the platform where the train is waiting. In the case of video, you have to show your ticket. It can be in electronic format, but no ID is requested. Boarding opens 30 minutes before the train departs. Once you have passed the ticket control, all you have to do is go down the platform and look for the carriage that corresponds to you. A member of staff will help passengers. Get on the train and look for your seat. The seat identification is on the side of the train above the window. If you are traveling with hand luggage, there is plenty of space on the tray above the seats. If you are traveling with larger suitcases, there is a luggage rack at, at one end of the carriage. It is quite small, the smallest we have seen on a high-speed train, which can be a problem for those traveling with large luggage. The small size of the luggage racks would probably be our main criticism of video trains. For domestic passengers, it may never be a concern, but here on the channel, we are also thinking of those who came to Spain from afar, traveling with a lot of luggage. We found the seats to be very comfortable with many details such as a lovely tray, the coat hooks and an under seat sockets and USB connections. But we couldn't get the seat to recline very much even though we tried. With great punctuality, the train departed at 13.55 from Sun Station. If you live from Barcelona, you will quickly see the majestic Montserrat on the right, while a little later on the left, you will see the Mediterranean appear. Several screens above the seats provide information about the route and the speed at which the train is traveling at any given time. 
Irio has a cafeteria car for a drink or a quick meal. There is also a mobile bar service that circulates around the carriages. You can consult a magazine with an extensive food and drink menu. Or, if you prefer, you can bring your own food and drink. At 300 km per hour, time passes quickly and taking in the scenery is always a great pleasure. In less than an hour and a half, we were on time in Zaragoza. Let's go with our evaluation of video, what we liked the most and what we liked the least. Overall, we feel our experience could not have been more positive. It is a very high quality service using new trains, which we truly recommend. Its main limitations right now are the small number of destinations served by Edio and the fact that prices are generally higher than those of the low cost companies. Minor negative points are the limited storage space for large luggage and a problem we have with the registration on the EDO website we have not yet been able to resolve. We also think that the fare structure could be simpler. Four categories are quite a lot, but two of them also have subcategories. We would not be surprised if in the future progress was made towards simplification because right now to understand all the fare rules properly an extraordinary level of attention is required. In any case, if an idiot ticket appears in your search results at a convenient time and for a price that fits your budget, buy it without a second's hesitation. We would like to remind you that for those of you who are interested in high-speed train travel in Spain, we have already several videos on the channel. We told you what an AVE journey is like. We presented Wigo, the first low-cost high-speed train in Spain. We presented Avlo, the second low-cost high-speed train. And we shared 10 tips to make the most of the high-speed train. If you have any questions about Edio, take advantage of the commentary box to ask. We will be happy to try to help. We leave you with a video in which we explain how to use Trainline to buy high-speed train tickets in Spain. In a single page, you can compare prices from Renfe, Wigo, Avlo, and now also Edio. It is a must-have too. See you in that video.